Namaste, yogis. This is not a typical asana class, and it's not really your spiritual yoga class. This class is about strengthening your backside. Yoga is not a balanced workout, and most yoga practitioners have really weak butts. And this is bad news, because the pelvis is the fulcrum of all motion in the body. So if your butt's weak, you're going to have hip pain, back pain, sacral iliac joint pain, and all kinds of other issues. So we're going to use some yoga movement along with some Pilates movements and other strength training to stabilize your backside. I recommend you do this kind of work at least three days a week. If you have a mini band that is a medium weight or a light weight, I recommend you have one, but it's not required for this workout. Also, if you have a block, we'll be using it, but again, you can do the workout without a block. And then please have either a yoga blanket or a towel available. And it's best if you do this exercise on a kitchen floor, a hardwood floor, or somewhere where you have some slippery uh, traction. If you don't have that, I'll be giving an alternative to the exercise. Let's go ahead and get started. Please come to Downward Facing Dog, straight out of the gate. And take a moment and just pedal through your feet. So bend one knee, pushing your heel towards the floor. And then switch sides. Bend your other knee and press your opposite heel towards the floor. And do that a couple more times, just starting to open up the backs of your legs. Steady breath. And then hold downward facing dog. Push the floor away. Press into the L shape of your hands, your index finger and your thumb. Firm your inner and outer thighs back. From here, inhale and come forward to plank pose and get really powerful here. So press back through your heels, engage your butt, pull your front body in and push the floor away harder than it's pushing you. So you're almost rounding through your upper middle back. Now, if this is too strong for you, you can do this whole next piece on all fours. Hover your right leg up off of the floor, flex your toes powerfully towards your knee and now tap your right heel to the sky. Tap it up, up. Lift up, stay super strong in your front body. Keep pushing the floor away for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold your right leg up. Lower your right foot down. Hold your plank pose. Take a deep breath in and take a long breath out. And now lift your left leg up off of the floor. Push through your heel. Push the floor away. Start tapping your left heel up towards the sky. Press it up. Up. Nice job. From the base of your seat, tap it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower your left foot down and press your seat high and wide into downward facing dog. Hold and breathe here. In Downward Facing Dog, weight your left foot and cross the front of your right ankle behind your left heel. And then press your left heel to the floor so you can really stretch that left calf. Take a couple breaths. Very good. And then switch your legs. Plant your right heel down. Cross your left ankle behind your right heel and push your right heel to the floor. and uncross your legs and stand in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and exhale, look forward and step to the top of your mat. Separate your feet hip distance apart, find a little bend in your knees and take opposite palm to opposite elbow and just release your spine for a moment. Very good. Bring your fingertips to the floor, reach back and grab a hold of your heels. Get your heels all the way into the palms of your hands on your knees into your armpits. And then with the same velocity that you're pushing down through the balls of your feet, lift your seat high and lengthen the front of your spine and fold in. Take a couple more breaths, releasing your lower back. Very good, release your heels. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips, firm your butt, and inhale, push all the way up to stand. We'll continue building a little bit of heat in the body. Keep your feet hip distance apart for dynamic chair pose. Inhale, take your arms up alongside of your ears. Exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips, and bring your belly all the way to your thighs. Release your hands. 
Inhale, sit back in your chair, lift your chest, stay here, exhale, and inhale, push up to stand. Once again, deep breath in, exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips, drop your belly to your thighs. Inhale, sit back in your chair, lift your chest, exhale, draw your navel point back. Inhale, push all the way up to stand, one more time. Exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips, belly to thighs. Inhale, sit back in your chair, lift your chest, and push all the way up to stand. Release your arms. I'm going to turn and face the camera. You can stay just as you are. Separate your feet hip distance apart, and once again, sit back in your chair, but this time bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath in, and now exhale. Step your right foot out to the side into a wide squat. Bend both of your knees evenly and sink your seat low and then step your feet back together, all the way together in chair pose. Step your left foot out to the side, drop your butt back, and step back to the center. Again, separate your right foot out, sink both knees evenly, and push back to center. Please continue alternating which leg steps out to the side and back to the center. And as you move in this way, it's really important that you keep your chest lifted, that you bend both of your knees evenly, and that your seat is moving back in space. You should feel this in the backs of your legs. Please continue. Five more. Five more sets. Good. Five. Nice job. Four more sets. Sink your seat. Stay low in your legs. And four. Super nice. Three more sets. Three. Step center. Three. So good, you guys. Two more sets. Sink your seat. Two. Last time, step your right foot out and center. Step your left foot out and center, and now hold chair pose. Take your arms up alongside of your ears, sink your seat, squeeze your inner thighs, lift your chest, take a deep breath in, and exhale, fold forward over your legs and let it go. Take another breath in your forward fold. Inhale and halfway lift. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank pose. And exhale, take chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, sweep your right leg up high to the sky, but flex your toes towards the floor and square your pelvis. Inhale, bend your right heel towards your butt. And exhale, push the ball of your foot away. Do that two more times. Inhale, like you were moving through mud. Squeeze your heel to your butt. Exhale, push it away. One more time. Inhale, squeeze your right heel in. Exhale, push it away. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, round your back. Draw your knee to your nose. Hollow your front body. And now step your right foot all the way between your hands. Stay on the ball of your back foot and unfold into a high lunge, taking your arms alongside of your ears. Take a deep breath in, and now exhale. Bring your hands to your heart center and bend your left knee towards the floor. Very good. Once again, inhale, straighten your back leg. Take your arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart and bend your left knee. Again, inhale, straighten your left leg. And exhale, hands to your heart, bend your back knee. This time, inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, bend your left knee, hands to your heart, hold here. Now pulse down, tap your knee down an inch and up an inch, down an inch and up an inch. 10 more times, little pulses, nine, pulse down for eight, seven, weight your front heel for six, five, four, last three, last two, and hold it down. Take a deep breath in, take your arms up, and exhale, bring your hands to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. Inhale and come forward to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths. One more deep breath in and a long breath out. Firm your legs and inhale, take your left leg high to the sky. Inhale, once again, bend your left heel towards your butt like you were moving through mud. And exhale, push your left heel away. 
Again, inhale, move slowly and mindfully, squeeze in, and exhale, push it away. One more time, bend your heel to your butt, squeeze, exhale, push it away, take a deep breath in, and then round your back and scoop your knee to your nose, hold, and step your left foot through. Very good. Once again, organize yourself really well. Straighten your back leg, get your left knee stacked right over your ankle, and then inhale and lift your chest. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center and bend your right knee to the floor. Inhale, straighten your right leg, take your arms up. Exhale, bend your back knee. Again, inhale, reach up powerfully. Exhale, bend your back knee. One more time, inhale, straighten your back leg and exhale, bend your back knee, hold here. 10 little pulses, take it down an inch and up an inch, down an inch and up an inch. As you move like this, weight your left heel powerfully and drive your pubic bone forward. Good, five more, pulse and lift. Four, three, last two, Last one, hold it down, stretch your arms up alongside of your ears, take a deep breath in, and exhale, plant your hands, and step back to downward facing dog. Hold and breathe here. Take another breath in downward facing dog, and then inhale and come forward to plank pose, and lift your seat a little higher than normal, push the floor away from you. If this is too much, you're welcome to drop to all fours, corset your waist. Once again, lift your right leg, but this time bend your right knee so your heel is coming towards the sky. And now from here, pulse it up, up, up. Keep pulling your front body in, lift. Tap your heel, tap it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it up, re-extend your right leg and lower it down to the floor and press up and back to downward facing dog. One breath for recovery. Take a deep breath in and take a long breath out. Inhale, come forward to plank once again. Get your seat a little higher than normal. Push the floor away, round your upper back and lift your left leg. Bend your left heel towards the sky and tap it up an inch. Up, up, good, lift it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You can do it, five, four, Three, two, hold it up, re-extend your left leg, lower your heel down, and press up and back to downward facing dog. Press your seat up and back, lengthen your spine, hold and breathe here. Take a couple more breaths. We have one more standing series, and then we'll be taking it to the mat from, so for some more targeted gluteal strengthening. Last breath. Inhale, take your right leg to the sky. Stay here. Next in breath, drag your heel to your butt once again, and exhale, push it away from you. Again, inhale, drag your heel to your butt. Exhale, and push it away. One more time, inhale, drag it in. Exhale, push it away. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, and step your right foot through. Good, stay on the ball of your back foot and lift your arms up once again into your high lunge. Bring your hands to your heart center and this time launch forward into warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. I'm gonna show the modification. Modification here is to bring your fingertips to the floor. If you're stronger, you're gonna keep your hands at your heart center. Now from here, bend both of your knees, tuck your left knee behind your right and then inhale and reach it long. Again, I'll show the adaptation on this side. So bend both of your knees, tuck your left knee behind your right, and inhale, reach it long. Three more. Tuck in, super small. Inhale, reach long. Again, if you're stronger, you're gonna keep your hands at your heart center. Tuck in teeny tiny, and reach it back long. One more time, curl in, and reach it long. Good, listen, this time, tuck your left knee behind your right, hold here and squeeze super small, and bend your right knee a little deeper, a little deeper, a little deeper, till your left shin comes to the floor, and then slowly lower your butt all the way down. And you're all set up for Arda Matsyandrasana, half floor to the fishes. Take your right fingertips behind you, inhale, take your left arm high, and then twist to the right, and hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. 
look back over your right shoulder and savor this moment of recovery. Nice deep breaths. And it's so okay to take those adaptations and modifications. Presently, I'm recovering from an injury to my hip that I sustained this summer, not doing yoga. And so right now, while I'm rebuilding my strength on the right side, I am choosing to use the adaptation. So honor yourself wherever you are today. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Inhale, come back to the center. Uncross your legs, roll over your shins, and step back to downward facing dog. Take three breaths in down dog. Very good. Two more breaths here. I am filming it in Costa Rica right now. No AC on at the moment, and I am dripping with sweat, so I hope that you're starting to heat up too. Let's take the left side. Inhale, take your left leg high. Stay here, exhale. Inhale, drag your heel to your butt, and exhale, push it away. Keep your pelvis level. Couple more times, drag it in, squeeze your hamstring. Exhale, and push it away. Again, inhale, pull in. Exhale, push it away. Good, this time, deep breath in. Exhale, round your back, knee to your nose, and step your left foot all the way through. Stay on the ball of your back foot, and lift your arms up to Modified Warrior One. Bring your hands to your heart center, weight your left leg, and launch forward, Virabhadrasana three. Take a deep breath in, and now exhale, bend both of your knees. Inhale, reach your right leg back behind you. Exhale, tuck your right shin behind your left. Inhale, reach long, two more. Tuck in and squeeze. Reach your right leg long. Last time, tuck it in and squeeze. Sit lower, sit lower, sit lower till you can touch your right toes on the floor and then slide your seat to the floor. You can use your hands if you need to or challenge yourself and keep your hands lifted. Once again, we've landed for Ardha Matsyandrasana. Plant your left hand behind you, take your right arm up to the sky and then twist to the left. Hook your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and look back over your left shoulder for a little moment of recovery. Slow your breathing. Very good, take another breath in. A long breath out. And then use your inhalation and come back to the center for floor work. If you have a mini band, grab your mini band, place it around your thighs, not on the knee joint, up in the middle of your thigh, and then come to lie on your back with your knees bent and your palms next to your hips. Separate your feet hip distance apart and push out into that mini band just so that there's a little bit of resistance. From here, lift your seat up towards the sky to a bridge pose without coming up into a big back bend and then drop your seat back onto the floor. Push your hips to the sky, drop down and lift back up. Drop your seat and lift back up. When you push up to the top, think about squeezing your butt and tilting your pubic bone slightly towards your navel. Keep your abdomen engaged the whole time. Press up and lower. Push up for 10, nine, eight, so nice, six. Push evenly into your feet, but give a little more weight into your heels to bring the energy into the back body. And you can add some heat to this by thinking about energetically dragging your heels towards your butt. Five more. Last four. Three. Last two. And last one. Hold it up. Good. Now open your knees. Push out into the mini band for ten. Nine little pulses. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Lower your seat back down. If you're using the mini band, take the mini band and place it around your feet. And then if you're not using a mini band, just bring your knees together, stacked parallel, shins parallel to the floor. Take your arms straight up to the sky and make fists in your hands. 
Now from here, keep your left arm exactly where it is. Push your left foot away from you and reach your right arm alongside of your ear and then return to the starting position. Push your right foot away and your left arm alongside of your ear and return to the starting position. Again, reach your right arm and your left leg, pull back to center. Left arm, right leg, pull back to the center. Right arm, left leg, pull back in and switch. Good, keep going, opposite arm and opposite leg. If you're using the mini band, push your foot into that mini band and resist with your opposite foot. Good, four more sets and four. Last three, and three, last two, and two, last one, and one. Good, come back to the center, draw your knees back into your chest. If you're using the mini band, return the mini band back to around your thighs and plant the soles of your feet once again. Lift your hips up, squeeze your butt, pull your abs in. 10 reps, drop your seat down, lift it up. Nine, tap the floor, push into your feet and lift. Eight, seven, good. Keep going with your bridge lifts for five, four, three, last two, last one, lower back down. And once again, if you're using the mini band, place it around your feet. Assume the starting position with your shins parallel to the floor. Make fists with your arms towards the sky. Pull your abs in. Push your left leg away from you as you reach your right arm alongside of your ear and come back to the midline. Left arm, right leg, and center. Switch. And switch. Good. Switch. And switch. We call these dead bugs. Five more sets. And five. Last four four, last three, reach, good, two more, last set, reach, pull in, reach, pull in, nice job, draw your knees into your chest once again, remove the mini band, set it aside, and grab that block, place the block between your thighs, the long direction, and find a nice squeeze of the block, now from here, take a deep breath in, Exhale, squeeze in on your block, and now hover your feet off of the floor. And the closer that your feet are to the floor, the more you're gonna feel this work in your abdomen. Hold here. Good, now slowly curl your knees up into your chest, curl your butt off of the floor. Tap your butt back down with control. Hover your feet off of the floor, and return your feet solidly to the floor. Once again, take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze the block. Pull your abs in and hover your feet. Super slow, curl your knees into your chest. Curl your tailbone up off of the floor. Lower your tailbone back down. Hover your feet over the floor and tap them back onto the earth. We have three more sets. Inhale, relax at the bottom. Exhale, squeeze the block, hover your feet. Curl up nice and slow. Slowly lower back down, hover your feet off of the floor, and tap them back on the earth. Two more, inhale at the bottom, exhale, squeeze the block, hover your feet, and slowly curl up, tuck your tailbone in. Roll back down, hover your feet, and plant them on the floor. Last time, inhale at the bottom, exhale, squeeze the block, hover your feet, and then curl your knees into your chest, lift your tailbone, Lower your tailbone back down, hover your feet, stay here, take a deep breath in, and exhale, lower your feet to the floor. Remove the block, grab onto the backs of your knees, and sit yourself up. So for this next exercise, you're actually going to roll your mat up so that your mat is in half, and then you're going to grab your towel or your blanket, and you're going to place your feet on the blanket. So from here, come down once again to lie on your back with your hands at your side. Do a bridge lift, but not a big, huge back bend. Just get your butt up off of the floor. Shoulder blades will stay down. Now from here, slide your heels away from you and then pull them back in. Let's do that nine more times. Slide your heels and pull back in. Eight, pull in. Seven, pull in. 
Six, slide and pull. Pull your belly in for five, four, three, last two, and one. Pull in, hold, and lower your seat all the way back down. Slide the blanket out of the way, grab onto the backs of your knees, and sit yourself up. You can re-extend your mat along the floor. And come to lie on your side. When you come to lie on your side, bend your knees to a 45 degree angle and make sure that your top hip is stacked directly over your bottom hip. The tendency is to pitch the hip back. I want you to really make sure you're stacked here and then pull your belly in so that you're lifting away from the floor. Flex your feet and keep your heels together. Take your hand and find this big bony protrusion on the side of your hip and then walk your fingertips back so you feel these muscles between your hip bone, this is called your greater trochanter, and your sitting bone, which is called your ischial tuberosity. Keep your fingers right there, heels together, and now lift your top knee, squeeze, feel those little muscles working, and lower back down. Nine, lower down, abs in. Eight, seven, six, last five, last four, last three, Two, last time, hold it up at the top, and now from here, beat your knee back like a little wing, little taps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up at the top, squeeze, and lower everything down. Very nice job. In between sets, please come to a forearm plank on the floor. Bring your hands in prayer position with your elbows shoulder distance apart, and then step your feet back into forearm plank. Pull your abdominals in and hold here. Lengthen your chest forward. Energetically put your watch strap into the floor and push your upper middle back to the sky and squeeze your butt. Take a deep breath in. Take a long breath out. One more time, deep breath in and a long breath out. Very good, drop to your knees and we're gonna switch to the other side. I'm gonna spin around so that you can still see me. Once again, come to lie on your side and stack your top hip directly over your bottom hip and then make sure that your hips are completely stacked and pull your abdomen away from the floor. Find that bony protrusion on the side of your hip. Walk your fingertips back so you can make a real kinesthetic connection to your body. Squeeze your heels together and now lift your top knee and lower it down. Lift and lower. 10, nine, pull your belly in for eight, seven, six, nice job, five. Pull it in, four, squeeze your butt, three, Last two, one more time. Lift your top knee up, hold here. Now find that little tap with your knee, lift it up an inch, up, up. Good, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up, squeeze, and lower it back down. Very nice, come to lie on your belly. One more abdominal exercise here. Plant your elbows directly underneath of your shoulders for sphinx pose and press the tops of your feet down. Energetically, think about pulling your elbows back. So from here, I want you to start to round your upper middle back, scooping and hollowing as you roll away from the floor. So lift your belly away, lift your chest, lift your pelvis off of the floor, keep your knees down, tuck your tailbone, hollow your front body and squeeze. Now curl your toes under, straighten your back legs so that you are in forearm plank. Now tap your knees down, point your toes on the floor, tuck your tail, hollow your front body, and super slow, roll your pubic bone to the floor, your hip bones, your abdomen, and pull your chest through two more times. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin, curl and hollow away from the floor, hover on your knees, curl your toes under and straighten your legs, forearm plank. Tap your knees down, point your toes, pull your abs in, drop your thighs, your pubic bone, your abdomen, and pull your chest through. Last time, round your spine. Hollow your front body, lift and curl away. 
Curl your toes under, straighten your legs. Tap your knees down, point your toes, thighs down, pubic bone, belly, and pause in the back bend. Breathe here. Very nice job. Lower all the way down. Bring your hands next to your ribs and press up to all fours. Just one more little round of exercises here, and we're going to open up your hips with a little bit of stretching. Plant your hands directly underneath of your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Stretch your right leg back and pull your front body in. From here, take your right foot, tap it across your mat to the left corner, and then drag it back up to the center. Tap the left corner, pull in. Nine, lift it up. Eight, drag it back. Seven, push the floor away, keep pulling your abs in for five, Last four, three, two, one. Hold your right leg back up behind you. Lower your right knee in. Curl your toes under. Round your back. Push the floor away and hover your knees off of the floor. Five breaths. Knees are one inch off of the floor. Push the floor away. Deep breath in. Take a long breath out. Four more. Inhale and X. Last three, in, exhale, last two, good, last breath, tap your knees back down, stretch your left leg back behind you, level across your pelvis, pull your abs in, drag your left toes to the right corner of your mat, and pull it back up to the center, nine, lift up, eight, lift it up, seven, Six, tap it up, five, four, three, last two, last one. Hold it up, lower your left knee down. Very nice job. Once again, curl your toes under. Last time, push the floor away, round your back, hover your knees, inhale. Long breath out, exhale. Four more, in and X. Three more breaths. Inhale and X. Last two. Good. Give me one more big deep breath in. Long breath out. Tap your knees down and press back to child's pose. Take a moment to rest in child's pose. Forehead on the mat. Walk both of your hands over to the left. Shift your seat to the right. Nice side body stretch. Walk both of your hands to the right and your seat to the left. Come back up to the midline. Roll your spine up, sit back on your heels, and swing your feet around out in front of you, and come to lie on your back. Once you arrive on your back, take your right ankle across your left knee for a figure four stretch. And just pause for a moment, letting your right knee fall open. Push through your right heel. And now keeping your tailbone on the mat, draw that shape towards your chest and interlace your fingers around your left shin. And stay nice and active in your legs here. And think about finding the curves in your spine, so lengthen your tailbone away from you. A couple nice big deep breaths here. One more breath. Uncross your legs and lower both of your feet to the floor. Take your left ankle across your right knee. Let your left knee fall open. Draw that figure four shape to your chest. Keep lengthening your tailbone towards the floor. Interlace your fingers around your right shin and breathe deep. One more breath. Uncross your legs and hug your knees into your chest. Grab onto your knees and roll yourself all the way up to a seat. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees open wide. 
Interlace your index and middle fingers around your big toes. Take a nice deep breath in here, and exhale, come partway down with a flat back, lengthening your chest forward. Inhale, come up just about a third of the way, and exhale, lower down a little deeper. Inhale, come up about a third of the way, and exhale, come down to your lowest point. Think about lengthening your spine so that the front of the spine is coming forward, and you're anchoring your seat back and fold in. Take a couple breaths. One more deep breath here. And then lengthen the front of your spine forward and sit all the way up. Assist your knees together and just come to a cross-legged seat. So that was just a quick and dirty workout today. Let's take a couple breaths together just to reconnect with ourselves, to anchor ourselves in our stability, which is what we do every time that we work with our glutes and our legs. Inhale and take your arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hands back down to your heart center. Two more times, deep breath in, stretch up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Take a moment and close your eyes. And just honor your body for carrying you through this workout today, for your stability and your capacity, for your strength and your sweat. Give gratitude. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful, and I hope that you feel this tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you again soon.